Good evening and welcome back to Resident Evil 4. On to episode 6 today, going to be jumping straight back into the action. And after you've been in the merchant's room, you want to come through this door first of all. So there's a bit of a puzzle in here, it's fairly straightforward. And again, it involves leaving Ashley Wait. in place, so you leave her there. And then what we can do is we can push these blocks. I'm sure you get the idea. You've just got to have something hitting every single block. And there's a couple of puzzles like this actually, a similar sort of vein. Follow me. Now you can actually go. And uh, now we're going to this room. So you do want to have, I suggest, the TMP ready. I think you've lived long enough. Let's see if you can survive this time. And straight away, what you want to do is aim for these little red lights. It's fairly straightforward. As long as you don't panic. There now go. And now we can just go through. Oh, I'll find this ammo first, actually. Now we can just go through this door. And for this next section, I would recommend getting your sniper rifle out. And you'll see why in a moment. So Ashley's now trapped in this room. She's going to get absolutely pulverized, but we just take these guys out. The gate should open. And then you can just run to the side. Now, I've done that very quickly, so it's going to take them for a while to get there. So we'll just quickly scavenge. Well, that's all hidden for that. So you've got plenty of time. I'm assuming on higher difficulties it goes quicker. Um, but I haven't timed it, so I'm not 100% sure on that. So again, just going around making sure you pick up all of the treasure. Queen's Grail. That's not actually a treasure. It's, it's actually something you need to progress to the next section. And now we're actually back in this puzzle room that we saw before. Just going to make our way back through. And uh, then what you can do is, I didn't realize that place was blocked off, but what you can do is come along here and you should see. Now, if you came along here earlier, these guys weren't there. So I think what we'll do is definitely want a sniper for this and recommend taking the guys that you can fairly easily. shots in on them get your shotgun out and probably wanna just want to make sure these guys don't get there I know I'm not doing this perfectly right now because you could just knife them that's it. And then what you want to do, as you can see, there's jewels all on the side. Spinals, I think they are. I think there might be one that's not. Uh, as, yep, there's a green gem. Might as well take this out whilst I'm here. And again, like I've said before, use your TMP to take those out. And then what we'll do here is we'll actually use the Queen's Grail to put that back in place. And in the harder difficulty modes, there's actually two items that you've got to get. But you can see on this mode, there's only one that you have to do. The other one's already there. But uh, let's just put this back. The Queen's Grail. And obviously you can get into this section now. So, first of all... I think there's a snake somewhere here. 
So I'm going to be extra careful and do the double swipes. I'm pretty sure it's this one on the left. Ah, bloody missed it. <laughs> After all that, I did swipe, but I missed it. Now, I could shoot this if I want, but I'm going to... Because it does give you an egg. And the health's only going down a tiny bit. I mean, we could actually use that egg to heal us if we wanted to. So you're not really losing out. You can open all of these cupboards. Now, if anyone remembers the original Resident Evil game, when I first saw this, I was expecting the uh, the dogs to jump out. But it doesn't happen. But what we'll do is jump over here. There's a red herb. And you can also climb up these ladders. And not only is this where there's uh, some treasure, but it's also an alternative way into the next section. You can obviously just go through that door. Or, as we get another butterfly lamp, we can actually jump through here. But I think what I will do is... Yeah, I'm going to load my shotgun. And get my TMP ready for the next bit. I hate these guys. I really do. So, first of all, just kind of want to run for a bit. Uh... Ah, I did press square, but I didn't get him. Right, I'm going to run a bit. And I think we need to get the shotgun out. I'm trying to get somewhere where I can have my back to the uh, wall. And I think that's it. Now, on the harder difficulties, well, pro. If you're on pro, they can be lethal. You can see we've taken a little bit of damage, but we've got that egg. We've got some health anyway, so not worried about that at all. And then what you want to do is just move this lever, although it won't work straight away, which you'll see. And it's fairly simple as shooting these down. Probably recommend the sniper rifle. Not because it's more accurate, more which it is, but... I think it needs to take a few shots with the TMP and might as well just use this. Now what you can do, you see there's one there. Let's see if we can get him. Let's hope they die in one. I'm sure you can shoot this and get more gems out. But do you know what? I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go through here to the next section. And as you can see, we're back with the merchant. We are going to buy this capacity for the TMP now, which will take Is us up to 150. Strength. Get loads of free bullets, because I think we had about uh, 15 or so bullets in the gun. I can't remember. That 15 at the bottom right is not for the TMP. That's actually for the, the Red 9. Now, there is an upgrade for that, which includes the capacity. I'm not going to get that because it's full. Leave that for later. That we'll increase the firepower. I'm not sure if there's anything else. We're not going to increase the riot gun. Rifle. We might as well do the reload speed. I did sell a few things off camera as well. But that's pretty much all the upgrades for now that we want to do. Yeah, but what we want to do after we're finished with that merchant, we'll just want to head over here. Be a couple of uh, barrels that you can smash. Now on this difficulty, I'll talk in a second. If 
you even scratch her, I'll break your bones. First, we shall see if you can make it this far. I'll be waiting. So on this difficulty that it's way less dangerous, it actually skips out this whole clock tower, which is a shame. Normally these guys fire over as well, the trebuchet type things. And then you come around here, well normally you would go up left, go in the tower, you have to free if the, there's a mechanism that's stopped. You have to climb up to the top to free that, then there's loads of enemies, you have to fight your way down, you come through this door, and then normally there's, um, well, you open this, which I'll show you in a moment, and then there's a guy with a rocket launch and there's enemies, it's, it's pretty dangerous. But well, uh, we can just basically skip all that. Wow, that's some, uh, that's some grainy footage. So yeah, no, there's like, like I say, there's normally a lot of enemies that skips in this. What I was thinking of actually doing is doing another run at some stage, maybe all in one video, just a, a pure run, do like a new game plus run, maybe on pro. I've already got a save that I did a while back where, you know, I've unlocked loads of stuff and I thought maybe I could just do a pro run using some of the really good weapons. Maybe not some of the best ones, but I could show you them because there are some guns that almost make the game way too easy even on pro, but I can show you them at some point. Now here you've got one of those guys that can't actually see. What we'll do I think is we'll try and take out these guys quickly if we can. That was bad time for that to go. And I need to walk here. So my previous video where you first meet one of these guys, you've just got to be patient. Now this would be a good time to use the uh, the Magnum. It's so creepy, this guy. Ooh, somehow he sensed me. Now we're not going to worry too much about that, apart from the fact that we nearly died. I know it says that they can't see, but I still think there's something inbuilt in the AI. There we go, he's dead. Now, what you do not want to do is reload that Magnum. You want to keep that for a later time. And if you do want to keep the Magnum, wait till it's, you know, at two, that would be fine, but wait till it's down to zero if you can. Um, and then do an upgrade on the capacity. Magnum ammo is extremely hard to, to find. It's very valuable. Now we're just gonna... Suplex him. It won't kill him, but... We will... Oh well, it was only one slice. Quick and easy death. First aid spray, that's, that's pretty good. We could use that now. But what we will do, is we're worth saving it for an occasion like this. We do have, I'm going to put that in there. We do have the green, red and yellow herbs. So again, this will not only fully heal us, it will also increase the actual capacity of our health, which is brilliant. So that's why you want to leave them till your health as low as possible. Satisfying sound of one's impalement. 
fall for this old trick. Uh, how dare you! No more games! Kill him! Kill! Quickly! We shall prepare for the ritual! Your right hand comes off? Hmm. Say whatever you please. Die yeah, there are some questionable back. jokes in this game. Yeah, but we're into this section now, so what you want to do is the um the merchant is here. We just pick up all the items, got some nice magnum there. There is Yeah, there's a grenade there. I believe there's a Yes, a crown, which I think uh, has items that you can put in it. I'll have a quick shot over the merchant. And we finally got it, the striker is here, so I've sold the other shotgun that we had that I only upgraded the power once I believe. Is that all so we're going to buy this, and as you can see it's a lot smaller, which is fantastic for your space. But also the upgrades are insane, um, I believe the ammo capacity is a special upgrade that increases the overall ammo, ammo capacity. I can't remember what it goes up to, but I think it's 100. It's brilliant. We'll increase the firepower and the reload speed for this, but not the capacity, as usual. We'll save that for later. And yeah, there's no other upgrades that I really want to do at the moment. Again, waiting for the capacity for the Red Knight as well. Now, I did buy a rocket launcher. Because I'm a coward, and I don't like the next enemy. Not as in, I don't like him being in the game. He's a he's a good boss, but I'm very relieved when he's dead. Let's put it that way. But what you want to do is you enter this door. There are multiple rooms you can go in first, but you just want to kind of head straight up north. Now, if anyone remembers Resident Evil One, this is a very similar visual to. I can't remember what they're called, but they were like these weird frog things. Enemies. That scared the life out of me. And again, there'll be some sort of quick time events in here. There'll be a few of them. So there's three normally. And you get to this. Yes, you want to turn the power on. That shuts the door for some reason. I'm not sure why it does that. You've got to wait approximately three minutes. Just dodge that one. Then you want to get this door. Well, you can't open it yet, but you want to at least try and open it. So you can get to this bit at least. Now, I don't know if a flash grenade works on him. That does a little bit, at least temporarily. I hate him. I really hate him. But then what you want to do is... Oh, I don't know if he's in, uh, in the correct range there. There we go. Dead in one shot. <sighs> I hate that, honestly. The, the reason why I use the... Uh, The reason why I use the rocket launcher, it, I would definitely recommend using it on the higher difficulties, like Pro, certainly, is there are just some bosses where, yes, you can try and battle through them, but they often become bullet sponges. This one, not so much, because what you can do is you can knock over those gas canisters, freeze them, use the magnum, run along again, try and freeze them again, etc. And then what we want to do is we want to just clear out all of the rooms. And of course we've got a bit of extra space now. It seems that Salazar is having difficulty taming the American pig. Salazar had his chance, 
Krauser, go get the girl. Oh, and uh, dispose of this swine while you're at it. Consider it done. There we go, now we're back at the merchant again, so we'll pick up a few items and then we'll just see. I don't think you'll have anything new, but we'll see what he's got. Nothing new in the shop, not really any upgrades that I want to do yet. I'm going to sell a few things. I normally do sell the first aid spray. I'm not always 100% sure why, I just have it I do. And we've put one of the jewels in the crown, but we need a second one, so we're not going to sell any of these because it's not worth it yet. Now this next bit is uh, I quite like this next bit again there's a, a, a slight puzzle to get through to the next stage but it's uh, pretty much just go to a place and uh, press a button go to the next place, press a button yeah you've got a sort of a mining area now you can just do this I said before we can just keep knifing these guys just to save on ammo And as you can see, there's another guy coming. Might let him get up here, actually. Because he is one of the ones with a torch. Now, hopefully, he'll try and blow fire at me. Come on. Come on. There we go. There you go. As soon as you see him breathing or hear him breathing, just shoot them. And... Oh, he's not dead, is he not? They normally die in one... Uh, I was going to say one hit. One fire. So we'll jump down here, and as you can hear, there are some more people that have spotted me. Now, this should set the first thing in action that we need. Might as well do that now whilst waiting for the enemies. But again, it's not the end, it's stopped halfway. So what we'll do is... Come on. Nice. <laughs> yeah, the explosive guys can be tough sometimes, but they're also an advantage. You know, you can actually use them to kill themselves and other enemies. So what we'll do is... Oh, what do I want to... I think one of my... Yeah, we'll sniper that guy. And we'll just blow his head off. Always a bit wary in case I get too near them and they explode. Now I've got one bullet left in the sniper, so we'll save that for a time when we can increase the capacity. And then what you want to do is just press this button. There you go, you think, oh well it's nice and free now. Pull that lever again. Do you know what? I don't often use them on normal enemies, but I'm gonna. Oh dear. I was just shooting there in case uh, that axe was heading towards me. Luckily, it was going wide. Yeah, normally these guys trigger a little bit earlier when you're running over here, and on the harder difficulties, there's a chainsaw guy. But what we can do now is grab the dynamite and we can blow up this rock. So obviously you want to make a little bit of a run for it. And of course that frees the uh, space for you to get through but also for the enemy. I know people have done like knife only runs. I don't know if that includes the bosses. You can use it on some bosses. I'm not sure if all of them you can. Um, it's not something uh, I'll be anywhere near good enough to do. Okay, so this area, it's clear for now, but it won't be for long. We want to run straight across there. So what you want to do is, well, first of all, trigger the cutscene. Do 
do is just avoid these guys quickly up the stairs. Quickly on the uh, what you call them, the zip line. Quickly press square to open this, and then when he's on the circle, open that up. There you go, so that kills one. Downside is you don't get the drop, which is a fair bit of money normally. And what we'll do now is we'll just try and Taking a lot of hits. Now avoid this middle bit because as uh, sometimes I forget whilst that guy is still dying. So you can climb up here. You can't use the same trick again but you can use the zip wire to uh, sort of escape from him and whilst that bit in the middle is open, which is not now, you can sort of avoid him a little bit. Now this will be the same as the ones you faced before. You want to jump on the back and hit either the square or the X, whichever one forms as quickly as possible, but wait until you make sure that it's the right one. You do not want to hammer the wrong uh, button, otherwise they instantly grab you or push you or do something like that. Get a few shots in. Don't worry about picking anything up right now. You just want to maneuver around the way you can get a few shots in now at some stage if I go up here he may knock this down so I then can't do it so I'm gonna do this now Oi. God, just avoided that what to do. I think I might Did that even hit him? I don't think that hit him, did it? Uh... Again, same trick. now he's destroyed it because I left it till the last second but the good thing is that gives us a little bit of time to now what do I want to do I think use the magnum yeah reload there because all my weapons are pretty much low. Oh, I thought he did knock that down. It looks like he didn't. I thought he had. Just avoid him and run through his legs. Get a few shots in. Now the next one should be the kill. The next, uh, just bear that. Ooh, damn. But again, be patient. Don't, uh, hmm, maybe one more magnum. Um, couldn't get out of the way there. Just run into his leg. And um, what do I want to do? I think the strike it. It's not very good at long range, to be honest. Let's see. through his legs. 
might try a snipe rifle soon if this doesn't work. Yeah, snipe rifle it is. Damn, that was the worst timing. Uh As you can imagine, if you don't use the trick to get rid of one of them straight away, it can be it can be pretty tricky that uh, section. Now, I was trying to sort of min max my ammo in that one, so you don't have to do that. You could just you know pile bullets into them, keep reloading, use your magnum if you want, whatever you want to do. I think we're going to call it an episode there. We've managed to kill the giants. The next section there's some not so friendly insects that we have to contend with and some more bosses up and coming as well so hopefully you can join me for that one really appreciate you guys watching this hit that like button if you can subscribe if you want to see updates for the the videos coming out pretty much have daily videos most of it is pez 2021 pga 2 2k 23 and i think we're going to be trying to have some more let's plays such as resident evil 4 like this potentially the remake when that comes out but also so maybe some other games in the future I'm, I'm definitely thinking about doing a longer let's play maybe red dead redemption 2 something along those lines but it is quite a bit of work to to get that done in the editing so let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments and i'll see you next time cheers